Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis, if it's your first time here. Today, I am here to give you an update on my Hermes Click Clack bracelet. Did a review, I think about a year ago on this bracelet. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I think about a year ago. And since then, I've worn this bracelet a lot. I feel like it was really important for me to do a video like this because when you purchase things, yeah, they look great in the beginning, but it's like, how do they wear, you know? Is it really worth my money? So without further ado, let's get started. If you have not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. All right, so let's catch up here um, because I don't remember how much the bracelet was when I first bought it, but I want to start off by giving you all the price to kind of show you all how like, you know, inflation <laughs> and prices do change. So the bracelet is currently $660 on the Hermes website. I believe it's way cheaper than that a year ago, but that's a year ago, right? So it is going to be cheaper. Now the bracelet uh, ranges in uh, $660. So I'm just going to pull off my David Yerman bracelet so you can only focus on this one. This is the bracelet. I'm going to get some up close looks in just a bit of the bracelet, but I just wanted to kind of just talk about it a little bit before I give you the up close. Uh, let me actually take it off so I can show you all like what I'm talking about. This bracelet I added to my collection about a year ago because I was looking for something that was durable that wasn't going to turn after it got like some water on it i wanted something that was good quality that looked like it was expensive I my eye on this bracelet and i end up purchasing it and if i have to say i am still very 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 happy with my purchase yes it was a lot but when you pay a little bit more for things then you get a better quality for me i was sick of buying things off amazon and then them turning or just like looking very rusty and crusty so i end up purchasing this one so if you look real close i got the white on gold bracelet particularly comes in many different colors you can purchase it i mean they have black they have like a taupe color and then they have like very colorful colors in this bracelet now after a year i've worn this bracelet a ton like anytime i go out or even i go to work i don't wear it on an everyday basis but i mean you can pretty much say i really get a lot of use out of it because I wear it a lot. It has a little bit of scratches here on the H, but they're very, very minor. There's like some really light scratches on the inside. And then when you look at the back of the bracelet, there are some minor scratchings just from me like throwing my wrist down. You can see like a little bit of scratchings there. As far as the overall quality for the bracelet, the bracelet is still pretty much very intact. This bracelet has not turned yet and it still looks like i feel like it's like right after being brand new like it looks like it has some wear but it's not in a shape to where it's like oh my gosh why did you buy this it's even amazing to me how the white on this bracelet and let me just get up close so you can see it the white on this bracelet for some reason i don't know why i i expected it to dull out i expected it to look very like just dingy but honestly Nothing has changed about this bracelet except for like on the gold plated parts. That's where it's a little bit scratched up. But I mean, anybody knows that gold, like Cartier on, which I have on this finger, it scratches up. Like, <laughs> so I wouldn't put that as to a reason as to why you wouldn't want to purchase this. It's just the actual, just regular wear and tear of this that you just have to be aware of. Now, if you've never opened this bracelet, and I feel like people do have this issue when doing this, opening this bracelet, and that's why the bracelet ends up breaking for those who have had the bracelet, and it's just like, it broke on me. Because you have to squeeze it lightly and then turn. It's super simple to do. If you do not do that, the bracelet will not open. So if I just hold it here in my hands without squeezing it, it still won't unlock. They do that on purpose so the bracelet can stay securely on your wrist. Um, it's literally a simple touch that you have to give it for it to do it, and then it opens right up. But that's what I like most about it because it's I can put it on by myself. I have other bracelets where it's like the you have to pull the little um, clip back and then put it on. It's like that is annoying. This is so unique because you can't even tell how it, you how you get into it until you know like that you're supposed to squeeze it and then open it and then you can open it as wide as you need to this does come in different sizes it comes in two different sizes as far as like 
the sizing to fit your wrist. This does st still come in a little bit of a wider band that you can purchase, but as far as size, it does come in two different sizes. I got the smallest size just because my wrist is a little bit small, so it just works for me. And then I didn't want it to be moving around, so that's why I made sure that the smaller one that they had and I still have a little bit of room right here. But yeah, like overall, bracelet is lovely. I recommend this to like, if you're trying to buy a gift for someone, you want it to be jewelry, and y'all, this is a really good bracelet because it stands out because it's Hermes. People love it. <laughs> um, and then this could be their first piece. This was my first piece from them, and then I decided to get a little necklace by them. One thing I can say about the Hermes jewelry, and I know this is not about the necklace, but their jewelry lasts a long time. Like I've, I've had this necklace, and I wear this necklace every single day with every single outfit, and this necklace gold plated has never turned on me. So yet yeah, it's not 18 karat gold, but it is still a good gold plated a piece of jewelry that if you're really into gold jewelry, this is definitely a piece of jewelry that I would recommend you adding to your collection. Just because if you're like me and you are tired of buying like all the Amazon jewelry and it <laughs> and it not being um, worth crap, then you'll feel me when you when I say <laughs> you might want to try these because you'll get your money's worth over time. I don't even like treat the, the bracelet well honestly if you ask me i used to when i first got it, i used to put it in the casing and i used to just treat it so nice now i just throw it in with all my jewelry and it's like whatever you know because it's at the end of the day it's a bracelet that's how i feel and like i don't have time to keep putting things back in boxes so that's why this one is just like perfect uh because you can wear and tear and the fact that it's white and it still looks icy white that is like another reason why I say yes. And you don't even have to get this color. And just imagine if you didn't get this color and you got another color, it'll still look so great. I haven't purchased any more just because I'm trying to save. But I do plan to like purchase like the taupe color just because I love the stack of this bracelet. That will always be a thing for me. That will always be a style that I just love the stackings of these, especially with the thin ones being stacked. I think that's such a really, really nice look for the arm. Um, I love good, I love bracelets, but as you know, Braces are, can get very expensive. So this is like my little dip into like the expensive side of the bracelets. So yeah, definitely I commend to you all. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below about the bracelets. Like I said, I've had it. Um, like I mentioned before, I've had it for a while now. So I can give you, I can pretty much answer any questions you might have. I've never taken a shower with it because I don't take a shower in any of my jewelry, not even my wedding ring. I've had it submerged in water for like a short amount of time and I have I still haven't had any issues. I've taken it on vacation, haven't had any issues. So, I mean, it has really, really good wear. I can't say that enough. It's just up to you now <laughs> if you're interested in like picking it up. So, um... That is all for today. Thank you all for watching my updated review on the Hermes Click Clack bracelet. If you have any questions, leave them down below, like I mentioned before, and I will answer them for you. Until next time, y'all, I'll see you later. Bye.